Well, hello, money makers. This is Joel. I want to review with you a little bit about how to read this market we're in on the daily chart. Now, I've been uh, giving you support and resistance on 30-minute uh, for intraday trading. And what I like to do is show you just some basic guidelines for how to use the trend lines, how to basically not use an indicator-based setting uh, for determining areas uh, for trade. Now, basically, what I'm looking at here is we have a major line of support. This trend line is a supporting trend line. And what we are looking at is that we are looking as price is increasing, we're getting these wider range bars. We're getting wider range bars again on each of these moves up. They're getting smaller. Now what most everyone is expecting is for this to roll over and they just don't know when. I don't know when either because my, my target of 875 is coming up very quickly. I think we're going to hit 875, <clears throat> consolidate, and then we will roll from there. On the weekly chart, we have had six up weeks, or basically the close of the weekly has been higher than the open for six consecutive weeks now. Now that's basically a little bit longer than most of the trends. Most of them are around 30 days. So we've been in this for about 36 days now. 37 market days, I believe. We do have, we did have some vacation time in there. But if we look at that, it is about the 30 day to 36 day period where we get our change in trend. If we look here, this trend line, we're looking for a major breakdown. Now, I think it's going to go into consolidation for a bit at 875 to 843, as, as I showed you on the 30-minute charts. But this is, we are looking for a breakdown. Now, our first target is around 738.50. If we do that, we will have what is known as an inverted head and shoulders. I'll talk to you later as we get close to that point on how to pick out the breakdown and how to find the reversal. You know, for you swing traders, you know, I would be looking at a short from 875 to 883. Uh, that is a, a golden area. I think we're going to see a turnaround there. It could be a few days away though. We're drawing in our trend lines basically to look where price has changed directions. Now, a lot of you who are using indicators at this point in time are looking at your RSIs and your MACDs, and you're of course saying that this is, you know, reflecting price divergence. Well, looking at the the volume we are actually not seeing as much price divergence as we are a weak market. For these levels, our daily chart is showing weak volume moves. They're very concentrated in these areas. So what I would be looking for is a sell-off. I do not think we have very much price divergence on these moves up. Normally when you have large price divergence, you will see a larger gap in volume, uh, especially before the turn. Here we have that gap in volume, which could have given us the turn, but it did not occur. So looking for this maybe to build up for another push, wouldn't surprise me if we got to 900. Once we have that, we're looking for a down gap, basically a day which the volume has decreased substantially, and then the next day is where we're going to get our breakout. So that's just a little clue on how to read 
this trend and where it's going to break down and how to use volume and price action versus your magic little indicators. These are some longer term support and resistant trend lines and this is the 200 MA and the 200 EMA. As the 200 MA and the 200 EMA start to converge, this is the point where we're looking for the bounce, the place where we're going to get our next breakout. They haven't exactly converged completely yet. Sometimes it will turn, sometimes it won't. We shall see. If we break down below the 738.50, we're looking at that point for a double bottom. And if it approaches quickly, our crash will be around 510. That is my wag for the day. This is Joel, trading online, madeeasy.com. I hope that helped.